Gabriella Wild, thank you <laughs> so much for joining us. We've got the lovely Caroline here in the studio with us. Just as pretty as she photographs. <laughs> Absolutely <laughs> stunning. So first of all, we must ask you, have you ever mm -hmm. heard of the Poldark dish? I have heard of it. <laughs> There's been a bit of talk of it around set. So, okay. yeah, and yeah. do they think we're just these wild, wacky Americans? No, I think you, you are living up to your reputation. You're wonderful. <laughs> but you absolutely stunning in this costume. And we had the opportunity to be uh, essays yesterday. Mm -hmm. So we know what it feels like. Yes, you're in full corsets. We were in yes. full corsets. Mm -hmm. How do you feel after a 14-hour day? You don't feel great. <laughs> um, yeah, you definitely feel squashed and kind of achy in odd places. And how do, you, how do you manage to eat lunch? Well, you don't. You sort of force it in. I think you have to, otherwise you'll fall asleep. But it's um, it's interesting working in a corset. It's, it's not easy. <laughs> and you, they made special arrangements for you last season. Yeah, yeah, they did. Now that um, the season's passed, people can go back and look and see where you were holding the pug. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> yeah, I was. I did pregnant. not even know that you were pregnant. Elise kept saying, yeah. "I think the actress is she's pregnant." She's teeny tiny. No, all of a sudden, she's carrying the pug in front of her. I'm not going to say anything because you just never know. Yeah. And then oh, we read about it that mm -hmm. you were indeed pregnant. Yeah. You still, you look no. No wonder you were glowing. Yeah. You know, and after the fact, stunning. watching it and seeing uh, Dr. Ennis come to you yeah. and say, so how was London? We're like, it was pretty good. I know, I know. <laughs> that scene was quite funny to film because I think I was about eight and a half months pregnant when we shot Goodness. it. And I mean, these are long days. These are arduous yes. working conditions. Yes, but, they are. And they, they are. say you, you bring your baby now? and you're... I do. He's here. Yeah. Oh, so good. tell us, how does wonderful. that work out? For a working mm -hmm. mother, how, how wonderful is that to be able to bring your baby um, with you? I'm so lucky that I can do a job where I can bring him with me and continue to work as a woman and have my child with me. You know, it's it's amazing and it's the way things should go, in my opinion. So I think it's wonderful think that they right. do that. <laughs> and and how, how old are your... Did you have twins? Or I have, just no, one? I have two, have but two? not twins. Okay, are they both um, with you? No, no, no. The older one is three. He's at home. Okay. I think he would cause havoc if he was here. <laughs> um, and my little baby is here and in oh. my trailer now. And how old? He's eight months. Oh, eight months. Yeah. And so, you're still in that teeny tiny little... <laughs> it's so nice to be able to check yeah. in on your baby. Yeah. I know. That's all they I need know. you. So okay. let's talk about Caroline. We call you Sweet Caroline because she absolutely <laughs> is. Sweet Caroline. Bum, bum, bum. Your red lipstick looks so good. So good, so good, so good. What I love mm -hmm. about your character is we thought she was one way, this sort of vapid, you know, heiress and yeah. just looking for, you know, to marry mm -hmm. right in life. Yeah. And then you turn out to be this wonderful, cherished, big hearted, big -hearted yes. character. So tell, tell us about the process for you, mm -hmm. how you got the role and, mm -hmm. you know, what it's been like playing Caroline. Well, um, so I got sent the script of Paul Duck. That was actually my first encounter with Paul Duck. I hadn't read the books before and I hadn't seen the old TV series either. So my first encounter really was this Paul Duck and, and this Caroline, which I really like that it happened that way. And um, yes. I just fell in love with her because she is such a wonderful character. You know, she does appear to be one thing. She's so kind of layered. Um, and it's nice that she starts off with this front and this kind of coquettishness and she's naughty and she's sort of bored and a bit rude and it, that's quite fun to play <laughs> yes. but, it, but it's also nice that she has this kind of heart to her underneath and um, she has such a wonderful journey and she really grows up in the series and, and yeah I, I loved playing that. Was but. there something from life you could draw on that people made mm -hmm. assumptions about you because you have a very prestigious background? Mm -hmm. Probably don't tell me if they do. <laughs> <laughs> but, um, I'm sure you know people make assumptions about everyone um, and so yeah it's kind of nice to play a character that reveals you know, first impressions aren't always right. I think they're about ready to yeah. take you away, so okay. we're going to have well, one more yes. to go. Tell us quickly, what can we look forward to between Caroline and Doctor, we call him Doctor Eye Candy, I've in season this. three. <laughs> Doctor <laughs> Eye Candy in season three. Um, there, well, there's a lot more to happen for them. Um, their journey is by no means kind of set or finished. Um, they've got a lot of ups and downs still. So well, we're looking forward to it. Life isn't easy for anybody. No. We're from California, where Disneyland is one of the most famous places <laughs> there, so we bought you treats from home. Oh, Thank you. Thank you for joining us. Thank you. My pleasure.